reached right now for the first time this year? What's the vibe been, been like around this team? You know, we had a good practice yesterday. Uh, you know, we had guys come in and, and do some work in the morning, too. So uh, I was encouraged by the attitude uh, of our guys in terms of, uh, and I thought we had a good practice. So Carter went to a handful of minutes last game. Why was that the case? You know, he had a really good game offensively, especially against South Carolina. And in that game the other day, he made a couple of defensive mistakes. One was, uh, you know, something we had uh, talked about. We were trying to get more help side, but we were at a four point lead and we gave up a wide open three on a play where there just wasn't the sense of urgency that needs to be defensively for us to have success. And then, you know, put him back in and had another opportunity where he actually had a chance to take a charge and got out of the way of the guy and fouled the guy. And so those aren't winning plays that are going to help your team win. And that's what we have to understand. If we're going to win, it starts at that end doing tough things. And I was really excited yesterday, for example, he had uh, a really good charge that he took in practice, uh, you know, created some steals defensively, he had three defensive rebounds. So he responded. And I talked to him about it yesterday in the morning. In our, in our morning workout. So I was pleased with how he responded uh, because offensively, obviously, you know, he really helps us. Did you see a difference um, with the team as far as <coughs> ready on the court? In the last game? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I still thought like, IJ is just getting back to form. I mean, it definitely helped us because his knowledge of the game, his communication skills, the experience that he brings to our team is something that we've really been needing and, and lacking. And so. Like yesterday, he had a good practice. Yesterday, you could see he's a, f a lot further along than he was, uh, you know, when we played our last game. When you're in a stretch like this, uh, as a coach with such a young team, how do you approach it? Do you kind of keep things positive, you know, with, the, with such a young team? Yeah, you know, I'm not, not going to, you know, uh, yeah, we point out the obvious things. And, you know, you look at both of our last two games, we could have won either one of those games. It's not like, you know, we got blown out of those games or never had a chance. I mean, you know, each game in the last six minutes is tied. You know, we had we had the ball twice at 30 to 23 in the first half at Georgia and, uh, you know, missed a three that probably should have shot baked and drove, had a turnover. You know, we had opportunities to, break, to get that open to uh, – you know, a nine or ten point lead, which ended up being a four point lead, luckily for us, with a last second really nice pass from IJ to EJ. Uh, uh, that being said, you know, the game was tied at uh, 54 all with, uh, you know, a little over six minutes to go. And, uh, you know, you give Georgia credit, they were dominant inside in the second half. And us not getting the line in both games was really a problem. Um, but, you know, we're, we're, we're not that far away. You know, it's not like uh, I'm killing these guys because they're not competing or, you know, they're, um, you know, we've only had one game where I felt really bad that way, and that was the old Miss loss on the road. Um, these guys are, you know, they're right there, and, uh, you know, we've just got to keep battling. What, what challenges, obviously, you call them very talented, but what are specific challenges do they present? Oh, you know, they're super athletic. So, I mean, just matching up with them in terms of, you know, the guards, Kavon Allen, uh, Casey Hill. You know, Casey Hill's a senior, really having a great year. Uh, you know, the, the uh, point guard that uh, comes off the bench is, is having a great year. Uh, you know, the, the Italian name, how do you say his name? Starts with a C. Uh, he's good. Uh, He's a, a good player. Um, that they're, they're threes and fours. I mean, Leon is really a good shooter and, and stretches the floor well for him. Robinson is an incredible athlete. Uh, you know, they've they've uh, got a very talented team with a lot of depth. Obviously, uh, Barry has added a lot. The fifth year transfer from Charleston, Rick Barry's son. He had 30 in their last game at Auburn. So, you know, he's a, a, a real good <coughs> scoring uh, player that uh, is, you know, their leading scorer coming off the bench. They have a lot of, lot of, lot of guys who are tough to match up with. You mentioned the depth that Florida has. How does the injuries that they've had, does that change the makeup of them at all? Yeah, you know, uh, losing their big kid was a tough injury for them uh, moving forward, you know, especially as you look for their NC2A tournament run that they'll have. Uh, but they they have, you know, the Hayes kid steps in right behind him. I mean, it just takes some depth away. But he was a big, strong, having a very good year. And 
feel bad for the kid. I watched the play. It was at Auburn. He went up to block a shot and uh, came down and landed on one leg. But it looked like the player from Auburn, I think it was uh, number five, stepped on his foot. So it just kind of, I don't know what it did, but uh, that would cause that to happen. But it, just a tough break. You know, you never want to see someone get hurt and you have to go through an ACL. That's brutal. This is one of the better defensive teams in, in the conference. What, what do you see in their system? You know, what they do is they switch one through four a lot. So, you know, because they're athletic and, and really, really uh, cover ground, they switch ball screens one through four. Uh, they'll switch all handoffs. They get out and pressure you. Um, but they, they have great length. When you see their length, they're very long and um, they cause problems. They're very good in transition offense, and they're a great offensive rebounding team. Yeah, you know, Q uh, came in and got uh, extra work in yesterday and, and, and put time in. I thought he had a good practice. Uh, and uh, you know, he talked about, you know, a couple of his turnovers in the last game when he penetrates, he's always looking just inside, where typically when you're penetrating, you want to look out and, you know, draw everybody and collapse and kick it back out to other guards. So it's just, you know, part of that's the learning part. Uh, you know, his, his foul trouble has been a problem because it gets him off to a, a start where he's kind of uh, having to be less aggressive. And we got to, you know, he's got to uh, just learn from that. But um, he, uh, you know, late in the game, he had a key turnover for us in the last <coughs> game. And as I watched it, you know, he, he was going t too fast, which is why he had, but he stepped on the guy's foot. So, you know, the guy's foot is why he went down. I didn't realize that during the game. But it was actually, you know, coming down on someone's foot that threw him off balance. When it was 58, 56, we had the ball with, you know. And that's learning about time and score. And, again, that still, you know, speaks to our inexperience of getting better at understanding time and score. Okay. Thank you, Coach. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.